I'm Sam Way, and this is your UWW-TV Sports Update. UW-Whitewater football returned home over the weekend to take on UW-Oshkosh for the Warhawks' annual Family Fest game, winning 21-14 over the Titans. The win over Oshkosh opened up the first weekend of WEAC football play, one of Division III football's toughest conferences. The game was also witnessed by over 21,000 fans, now the new stadium record for a D3 football game. The attendance record broke last year's attendance record of just over 20,000 fans, a game also held at Perkins Stadium when the Warhawks hosted UW Lacrosse. Yes, Saturday was a good day. You know, first and foremost, I want to thank you know, the community, the university, the student body, uh, all our fans and supporters. We had quite the atmosphere for our guys. That was truly a special day. Senior running back Tamir Thomas led the ground game for the Warhawks, finishing with 123 rushing yards and one touchdown. Whitewater went 8 for 15 on third down conversions, 2 for 2 on fourth down conversions, and scored all three times they made it to the red zone. Football continues WEAC play this weekend, heading to UW Stout to take on the Blue Devils. Elsewhere in the WEAC, UW Platteville shocked the third ranked UW Lacrosse Eagles with a touchdown in overtime to complete the come from behind win on the road. UW River Falls cruised past the Blue Golds and UW Stout defeated the Pointers. UW Whitewater's next home game at the Perk is Friday night, October 18th, when they host UW Stevens Point. UWW TV will broadcast that game at 7 o'clock and kick off Warhawk Sports Saturday 30 minutes prior. We'll be back with more sports on UWW TV right after this. Have you heard of UROF? We're part of Whitewater and our own thing. Come on, we'll show you. I learned how to be a college student here, and now I'm headed off to Madison to study global health, and I know I'm ready. People like me who aren't a fan of big crowds would really like UROF because it's welcoming and it's laid back. My advisor helped me figure out my schedule, organize my time, fill out my FAFSA, and figure out what classes I liked and how to turn that into a major. And if I had to do it again, I would choose you rock. You ready to rock? You belong here. The fourth ranked Warhawk volleyball team hosted their annual Dig Panici night last Friday against UW Eau Claire, sweeping the Blue Golds 3-0. The night honored the life of a former Warhawk volleyball great, Lisa Panici, who was diagnosed with brain cancer just months into her first semester at Whitewater in fall 2010. Stacey Boudreaux's squad is home on Saturday against 15th ranked North Park University and returns to WEAC play at home October 16th when they host UW Stevens Point, a game broadcast live on UWW TV. Congratulations to the Warhawk golf team as they won their eighth consecutive WEAC Women's Golf Championship over the weekend in Reedsburg. The Warhawks shot a total score of 958, tied for seventh best in program history. Senior Haley Myers tied for the most birdies during the tournament with five total over the weekend. The men's soccer team went 0-1 last week, tying 1-1 against Loris College and losing 3-1 to UW River Falls. Following the Loris game, the Warhawks retained possession of the Hawk Cup, the rivalry game played between the two teams. Men's soccer hits the road to take on Milliken University this Wednesday against the Big Blue before returning home on Saturday to take on UW Eau Claire. Women's soccer went 0-1 and 2 last week, losing 4-0 to Loris College and tying UW Eau Claire and Benedictine University. Women's soccer hits the road to take on UW Oshkosh this Wednesday, then returns home Saturday to take on UW Lacrosse. Women's tennis takes on Lawrence University and Edgewood College at home on Wednesday in a doubleheader matchup. The women hit the road along with the men's team for the ITA Oracle Cup Nationals in Rome, Georgia starting Thursday. For more sports news and other updates, tune in to uwwtv.org. I'm Sam Way, and this has been your sports update on UWWTV.